it has not changed. I think the auto I think the manual scrambler is going to have to be activated this time. I am not expecting good results. Uh, I just hope Red can do the best they can. Maybe use some engineers. Maybe have some medics. Hopefully we're going to see a good grand old scramble. There goes Blue immediately bum rushing Red base before they can do anything. Saying that though. Obska. Okay, interesting, interesting. More on that later, but let's check out the action on blue on red side. Well, it looks like again Artie's managed to take the intel as the slowest demo man. You do realise you can put the way the action run faster, right? There you go. And from the looks of it, I think once more we're going to have a little bit of a sp uh, intel camp. And there's Panty Inspector playing out heavy now. Just takes that ace man before I think he can get his uh, uber, uber off. What's happening upstairs? And Obska is still up here. I'm expecting great things from this guy, but he's not putting it down in the teleport just yet. Anyway, back to the main room. And looks like the blue are still causing havoc for red. And there goes the second intel. This is not looking good. Oh, there goes the okay, red counter, but they may have a chance here to get out. They need more of these Ubers, they need to keep blue at bay. Being in Rumble really does help, staying alive. Now, it looks like blue team has got siege mode a bit engaged right now. Problem with red is they haven't managed to actually get in a backhand blue. Little. You know, maybe a crits here or there could really, you know, do something. Uh, if they do that, they might be able to, you know, basically break blue back and then, you know, start people on the defensive. That might make them have to play differently. Here goes Nuba. There goes a uh, the, the intel. So close to being capped there, but heavy is just about defending it. It's the gink. Ooh, and just beaten then. Nice work right there by Panty Inspector. Red are really holding on to their crates a lot, uh, Intel, Intel package a lot better this time. Oh no, Obska, all his stuff is gone. Oh, I was hoping for a lovely you know, teleport from that, but oh well. I always personally try to get the teleport up quickly as possible, that's usually the best way I do things. I have to say, Panty is doing a marvellous job here actually with the medic, um, you know, nice work electric depression there. They're really, really holding up blue team uh, just by themselves. You know, falling back when necessary and getting into the fight when needs be. What might help though is if you know Red has some def uh, defense in depth here. Part of the problem is is that they can't defend the room itself. They're not really defending the corridor, which is easily defensible if you pick the right location. And Necropole there, lovely headshot. This man is a master of the bow from the looks of it. <coughs> but Grish Chan there pretty much ends up in a single shot. Oh no, oh wait, there goes Nuba. <laughs> Ridge had trying to make the best of it. This is where, you know, having the uh, stickies is usually a good thing. I mean, trying to Uber up a demo night is not a good idea.
Now with Red actually, you know, maintaining the hallway, they might want to take a sentry in there and try and hold it. Hold a little bit better with a bit more defense and depth. And perhaps maybe get on the offensive a bit. It's part of the problem right now is that, you know, Blue's going to just attack and attack and attack and no, they don't have to really defend anything. Unlucky there, Grish Chan. Stay on the defensive there. Silverhawk somewhat anxious. And that's a, de that's a um, Uber right there. And what happened to that charge? It just went wild and charged back out again. That was not a good Uber there. <coughs> and Ace Man destroyed. That was... There goes the gank. Wow, okay. Um, Milks and, 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 and L are really pushing back up. It's a lovely counter attack by that Pyro. Is Red actually now, you know, part, you know, sallying forth and actually, you know, bring back this game for Red Team? This might be the reconquista we've been needing to see from them. Okay, there goes Nuba. The Genk there, a little bit worried. And Grish Chan takes him down in a blaze of glory. Oh no, he's still alive. Oh, go Grish Chan. He's got the intel, finally. This man, oh, one man pushing force with Medic. Now he's lost the Medic, he can just run away now. So that movement buff going. Okay, he got it halfway, and his uh, his um you know sacrifice might not be in vain here. Red team can easily pick up that intel; they just need a push for it. And there it goes. Okay, anti inspector, lovely work there, avoiding all the crit bullets. And I think that's score one for red team. They might have brought back this game. This is a lovely comeback here from Red Team. They're doing lovely work now. They managed to get. They managed to push back out again. But the Genk still true to himself, and his team still pushing up. Hey, Ferret. Anti Inspector struggling against the Strong. Silverhawk is really quaking right now. I mean, he is having to struggle quite hard, so hard now, just really trying to keep the Blue Hordes away. But he's managing it though. He's actually got a lovely position, and he's keeping on with the engineering. He's got a very good established position there, and Red Team's actually helping out reasonably well. And there goes the Uber. Oh no, he whips out the short circuit, doesn't get the timings right. And Ace Man moves in. Ooh, and Silverhawk gets revenge when he's up with his own sentry. That was a bit close there. I was wondering if the um you know Dan Man was gonna outfox the sentry that that is entirely a problem there. Nice, man. You don't fail, man. You're actually doing re really well. You, you're pushing up. You're doing a nice job. It's just you got to compete with the entire team. So, yeah, don't beat yourself up about it, man. A little bit of a lag spike there. Not sure what happened. Headbanging politician. Defending. Now this is the thing, red team hasn't really managed to get another offensive on yet. Now there's blue. Blue's actually has been uh, relaxing their attack a bit. Now I've got some pipe mine, they're taking out a medic, that's, that's how you do it. But seriously, there's nobody here.
Uh, n n n no. If I if I had to go to the adoption agency, I'd drop you off instead. Now anyway, back to, back to the end again. They're defending Red Intel. But Panty Inspector really trying to take it, but Heavy is too much. Now this is the thing though. The ganks gotta be a little bit careful. They're actually now playing defensively. The tables have turned. <laughs> and what do you know? Shuffles there, takes it. Oh, I didn't have his uh, knife at the time. That could have been a nice medic stab there, but that, that intel is refreshed and closer. Red team just need to want it. The fat man and blue team are really holding their ground now. They're a little bit worried of the uh, possible red comeback. I'm recording now. I've uh, been for like the last couple of actual so don't worry. Now anyway. Looks like that Intel's gonna go. Yeah, scout on it. Shuffles. He's using the bonk. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you keep an Intel alive. Love lovely work there from Shuffles there. Bonk up, hover around the Intel until you come immediately out of bonk, and then take the Intel. That's how you do it. Now, red team is keeping the intel alive. They might be able to equalise here, but they've got to work it though. Blue team is, you know, fighting back now. And also on the cap. Okay, this is looking good. The Genk there again. Oh, look from looks of it though. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, both teams managed to take each other's uh, intels, and this is progressing the game quite a little. How from looks at it, I think the blue team's the next one to attack for the time being. And from looks of it already, um Silver Hawk there just pausing by the intel. Uh I wouldn't do that too much if I were you. Yes, please cap. And blue team have immediately ran over red team spawn room. This is looking bad. The gank is going for glory. Um, I've I've had to do all this shit all the time. I'm gonna at least cap one of them. And this is gonna eat, this is gonna put you know blue team firmly in the lead. And if they're holding up room as well, that will mean that they'll be able to take the next one quite easily. Can blue team keep the camp on? Oh, they're keeping the camp up. It's working. And there it goes. Throw me there with the intel. And there he goes. Wait, no. One rogue demo man there. Pharaoh just a necro hole takes him out of the way. I think Blue has his match again. Not quite the roll over like last couple of games. But Red fought back very well, but Blue team just started to strong out and win the game. And immediately the scramble all comes out. Chromie there not deciding to finish the game. And I think that's it. And that's the end of the uh, commentary. Thank you very much, guys. Sorry about the glitchiness towards the end there. But, you know, overall, really good game. Although, to be fair, I would have to say, you know, blue team did roll over quite heavily. Uh, you know, towards the end there, they red of making some attempts to you know, bring the game back. But, you know, they were doing pretty damn well. Anyway, let's uh, go to the MVPs, uh, see who we got here. Well, I think definitely one MVP has to go to um, the Genk for basically just heavying it up like anything and really, really putting all those pushes in. It really getting to the enemy intel rooms and just sitting there. Uh, beyond that, though, the other person I like to think is um, also any medics on him, but also uh, Silverhawk, the uh, enemy uh, engineer. So, you know, excellent work from that guy as well. You know, doing a nice bit of work there, really trying to hold it all back. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Steve 2 I hope you have good luck and good games.